Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. Thanks for joining me in this latest video devotion. I want to start today's devotion by engaging and doing an activity that all of us have done sometimes in our lives. Hey, look at that. It's finally working. Yeah, blowing bubbles. All of us, no matter how young or how old we are, always enjoy that classic activity. It makes us smile. It allows us to have a moment of relaxation and peace. What's cool about bubbles is that there are so many ways to do it. You can do it this way. You can take it out, and especially if you have a bubble wand, and you can create bubbles just like that in the air. There are other ways in which you can create bubbles as well, and they're useful for some things in our life. You know, a bubble bath to clean us, bubble cleaner to clean things in our house. Um, I think of the Febreze commercial where you spray the Febreze and the commercial shows the bubble locking in the bad smells and then boop, dissipating it. And I also think of a hot air balloon. It looks like a bubble. It can lift us up. All right. Bubbles are things that we love to make, but we also really love to chase after right? We all recall the memories of when we were a kid and we chased after the bubbles before they popped. Or even now, as we're older, we blow it and kids chase it around. And when they pop, you know, they're gone. A kid goes from exhilaration and exuberation to disappointment until they see another bubble and they chase after it. Our lives are filled with literal bubbles that we can create and they're also filled with figurative bubbles that we chase after. So many times in life we run to, we chase after, we stretch our hand out toward bubbles in our lives that aren't really good things for us to strive for. Popularity, acceptance, substances that alter our physical, mental, and behavioral state. Money, fame. These are all bubbles that many of us want, but are they really needed? We spend so much time and energy running toward those things, reaching out our hands. For our youth out there, it makes you happy when you see that people have liked your social media post or seen it. Regardless of what platform you're on, it makes you feel like that you have worth. But in reality, it's just an illusion. It really is. Those things that we run toward, those bubbles in our lives provide us with momentary and temporary feelings of success and worth and importance. But then, as soon as we have one in our hands and we try to grab it, it pops and we're left with nothing. All that energy, all that time we spent running toward things like fame, happiness, relationships, only to have it pop when we have it in the palm of our hands is frustrating, annoying, depressing. All of that time and energy wasted for nothing. Instead of chasing after bubbles that are here for seconds before they are part of the air, before they pop and they disintegrate, disapparate, I don't know if even that's a word, before they are no longer a part of this world. We need to cling to and hold our hand out and stretch for God's truth, for His love, for His grace and mercy, His forgiveness, for a relationship with Him. Because unlike bubbles, 
God will never pop. His presence will never go away from our lives. Let me read you a scripture verse, actually two. This first one comes from the gospel, not the gospel. It comes from the book of 1 John. In 1 John 2, 15 through 17, John writes this. Don't love this world or the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. The world offers cravings for pleasures, a craving for things we see, cravings for pride, achievements, and success. These are not from God, they're from the world. This world is fading away along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. Men and women, ladies and gentlemen, the things that you seek after, they're here today and they're gone tomorrow. We get to it, we have it, and then it's no longer there. You know, brings us to the question, why? Why was I going after it in the first place? And then there's a passage from the Gospel of Mark. Mark chapter 8, verses 34 through 38. Mark 8, 34 through 38. Jesus says, if you want to be my follower, give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you'll save it. I'm sorry. If you try to hang on to your life, you'll lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake and for the sake of the good news, you will save it. Instead of trying to fill your life full of temporary bubbles, give your life over to Christ. There is a hole in your heart that we try to fill with many things, many bubbles in our lives, in the life of what the world says is pleasing. But only God can fill that hole in your heart. And then there's James 4, 13 through 14. Basically, this is saying, look, the tomorrow is not guaranteed for us. It says, look here, you who say, today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town, and we'll stay there, we'll do business there and make a profit. How do you know what your life is like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. My friends, don't waste your time and energy. Don't waste your gifts pursuing bubbles that are here today, here for only a couple of seconds before they're gone. Yes, they may be fun to look at. They may give us so much pleasure. But in reality, as quick as they're made, they pop. Pursue God, His truth, His love. The Bible is a relationship book. I pray and hope that you will cling to, chase after, enjoy seeking after God. What bubbles are you chasing after? Let's pray. God, we thank you for the message about bubbles and how they can give us wisdom to run after things that last. Your love, your word, a relationship with you lasts, and it will last our whole lives. Help us to not be distracted by the bubbles of things like money and popularity, bad relationships, substance abuse, for as nice and awesome as they seem, eventually they're all going to come to a popping end. And we're going to find ourselves 
wondering why we chased after them in the first place. Help us to lean on you. Help us to seek you with our whole being. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me today in this devotion. We'll see you again next time.